Hi, so in this video we're going to figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of e raised to x minus 1 divided by x. In order to compute this limit, we're going to have to make use of this limit right here. We've shown this in another video. I'll link that video in the description below. Now, we could go ahead and apply El Hopital's rule to this limit right here, but this limit crops up when you're computing the derivative of e raised to x using the definition of the derivative. So to avoid circularity, we are going to take a different approach. And in that different approach, we have to make use of this limit here. Now let's set z equal to e raised to x minus 1. This implies that e raised to x is equal to z plus 1. Now if we take the natural logarithm of both sides, we have x is equal to the natural logarithm of z plus 1. Now as x tends to 0, we also have that z tends to 0. So let's go ahead and use this information that we have here to rewrite our limit into a more amendable form. We have the limit z approaches 0 of z divided by the natural logarithm of 1 plus z. We can rewrite this as the limit as z approaches 0 of 1 divided by the natural logarithm of 1 plus z divided by z. All we've done is multiply this by 1 over z and this by 1 over z. This is equal to the limit as z approaches 0 of 1 divided by the natural logarithm of 1 plus z raised to the power 1 over z. So now it's pretty clear why we divided by z. It was so that we could bring it up here. Now we can move the limit inside the natural logarithm. This is equal to 1 over the natural logarithm of the limit as z approaches 0 of 1 plus z raised to 1 over z. And we know from right here that this is equal to e. So we have 1 over the natural logarithm of e. And this is just equal to 1. So our final answer is 1. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more content similar to this. I hope you have a great day.